Trophy, the winner of the Kentucky Derby, is draped with an honor that dates back more than a century, that coveted garland of roses. WDRB's Crystal Goodner takes us on a journey of the roses. And this is where the magic happens. The roses are brought here to a secret undisclosed location that's chilled to about 40 degrees and below. Thousands of roses are handpicked for the special garland of roses. A rose by any other name still smells just as sweet. We are looking for that perfect rose. But imagine the fragrance of 6,000. That's the number of roses that journeyed all the way here from Bogota, Colombia. Kroger workers carefully curate the garland of roses that will crown the winner of Derby 150. You'll be able to see it from every angle. It's the best trophy in the world, so we want the best rose in the world. And not just any rose will do. The crafters search for perfection and use inspiration from the race to divvy up the batches into win, place, show. So the win is that perfect rose. So we're looking for um, the rose that has all the great qualities. So the perfect color, the perfect size. A seamstress makes the garland backing by hand. Beverly Fairfax inherited her row from her mother, a gifted seamstress. Fairfax has been part of this process for 32 years. This garland backing is made by hand. Uh -huh. There's um, sewing involved, so that's what a seamstress does. And um, some of it's hand sewing, some of it's done on machine. This year's garland sports a special signature piece, unlike any other. Normally this is uh, just done in green thread, so just sort of subtly there. But this year, because it is 150, we wanted to add some pizzazz, and they decided, or we decided, that we would go with the full color version so you can see the gold and the red and the white. So how did the rose become the official flower of the Kentucky Derby? Legend has it that Meriwether Lewis Clark Jr., the founder of Churchill Downs, handpicked the signature flower. The first garland of roses uh, goes back to 1896 when the horse Ben Brush won the Kentucky Derby. That's the first documented instance of anything resembling a garland being presented to the winner. From the Assembly House, the garland is transported to Kroger in Middletown so visitors can see the finishing touches. From there, the roses complete their 2,430 mile journey. It's police escorted to the track. We will have the Navy meet us when we pull in. So it will be guarded with the Navy the entire day um, and me. From South America to the Winter Circle. Reporting with photojournalist Ian Cunningham, Crystal Goodner, WDRB News.